Traffic, traffic. Hi everybody, Captain Roger Victor here. And I just got to my hotel room. I'm in my hotel room and I, once I walked in, I did the very first thing that anybody does in a hotel room. I flipped that switch that doesn't seem to do a damn thing. You flip it on, flip it off, flip it on, flip it off, and nothing changes. Lights don't go on, lights don't go off, outlets don't turn off, outlets don't turn off. I once went around with my phone charger, plugging into every single outlet, and then going back to the wall to flip the switch to make sure if it actually did anything, and it doesn't. So I've just given up. But without fail, every time I go into my hotel room, I flip the switch, and it doesn't work and doesn't do anything. <sighs> Anyway, the second thing I do when I get to a hotel room is I check for signs of bed bugs. That's right. Shh, shh, shh. Those nasty little creatures. Bed bugs. Now, if you don't know what a bed bug is, do the research. They bite, they itch, and uh, they multiply rapidly. And if you bring them home, you will be infested. So let's uh, go around the room and we'll look for signs of bed bugs. First things first, when you come into the room, you want to shout out. Are there bed bugs in this room? No, they're not answering. These are smart bed bugs. So we're gonna go searching for them. The problem when you search for bed bugs is that uh, you kind of have to tear the bedding apart. So we're gonna do this bit by bit and uh, follow me and let's get started. Ah-ha! No, not, no bugs in there. I got a thermostat that I could program, so that's a win. Now, I have had a bed bug infestation. I know what it's like, and so I'm gonna tell you this. Bed bugs are lazy. They do not like to go far away from the food source, so they're gonna stay roughly in the bed. Also, uh, they don't really change their spots much. They're gonna be in the same areas, and uh, their signs are pretty clear. What you're looking for, aside from the bugs themselves, you're looking for little brown spots of, uh, Imagine dried blood, little spots of blood. Because what they do is they feed and they gorge on you, right? And their body and their abdomen grows, 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 and then they poop out some blood. Sounds gross, but that's the truth. And they leave this little trail on the bedding and on the mattress. Now, of course, the hotels change the, the uh, sheets and they change the comforters. But generally, they don't change the box springs. So if you want to see signs of bed bugs, you got to go down deep under all these covers and see what you can find. Also, you got to look in little crevices and little nooks and crannies. To, to figure it out. So we, are, we got our bed here. This isn't the bed I'm sleeping on tonight. I got another queen bed over there. And we're just gonna go through this and uh, not promising we're gonna find anything. I hope we don't find anything because if we find something, I gotta get another room. Where the hell are you guys? I know you're here somewhere. Stop playing with me! Now what you'll see here is I move the covers away and I move some pillows and I do not see any signs of bugs whatsoever. So now we're gonna move, remove the sheet and take a look at that little skirt there under the box spring. All right, we have gone one layer deeper and we are now on the bare mattress. And we can <laughs> sit on the mattress and uh, get cozy on it. Uh, I do not see any signs of uh, little dots or uh, what could be little bed bugs, which is good. But we gotta go deeper, we gotta go under there and see what we can find. All right, now you can see I have moved the mattress and I've exposed the box spring, moved the little comforter thing, and I do not see any signs of bed bugs, which is great. Whew, I can sleep well tonight. Now, I don't really take apart both beds. If I have two, I just use one as kind of like a representation for me. Uh, it's no guarantee, but it's better than nothing. And uh, if you do see a bed bug, try to trap it. Take it downstairs to the lobby to prove to them there's bed bugs. I've been to some of the uh, Nicest hotels in town. There's one layover in particular. It was a really nice hotel, really, really uppity place. And they had bed bugs almost every time I was there. So uh, take it downstairs, show the lobby. Um, bed bugs are pretty harmless to handle when you're holding them. Put them in a little cup or something, take them downstairs. And uh, demand a different room. You do not want to take them home. If you do take them home, there's many things you could do to get rid of them. Uh, they do not like heat, so a lot of uh, throwing your clothes and bedding into the dryer and then certain sprays you can get off amazon.com and other stuff uh, then eventually an exterminator is probably going to be needed. So uh, do your best, do your due diligence, and uh, don't bring them home. So uh, that's my bed bug advice. Yeah. Whew. And now that I've totally destroyed the bed, I'm going to go to bed. So um, 
that's my advice about bed bugs. Oh, yeah, don't forget. Don't put your bags on a bed overnight. You know your rollerboard and everything? Use those little uh, luggage stands they got in the uh, closet. Unfold that thing and put your bag on it. Bed bugs won't climb on that. It's the easiest way to track bugs into your house is to uh, leave your bags on a bed overnight. Yeah. And uh, that's all I got. So thanks for watching, and uh, remember, when in doubt, it's got itchy all of a sudden, just uh, ASAP. Ow, my foot, God, I think, God damn, ah. now I gotta tear this bed apart.